<laughs> well, hello everybody and welcome to Vinyl Treasures. I'm your host, Johnny G. John Galindo, coming to you live each and every Saturday, only here on Top Shelf. Always want to welcome you to the August 18th, 2018 Vinyl Treasures Show. Glad you can join Johnny G. on this uh, really not great evening. And uh, lots of rain, thunderstorms uh, yesterday. They were pretty nasty, they were. But to sit back for the next two hours, got some cool original Vinyl 45s out of my collection. We opened up tonight's show on Morty Craft's Saxony label. Band leader there by the name of Louis Payne with a song he wrote. Song entitled Oriental Rock and Roll. That's a cool one there from December 1955. Flip is a good blues vocal, a duo featuring uh, Bonnie Buckner and Danny Runjo Taylor. I'll feature that one on a future Vinyl Treasure show, but that's a pretty hard 45 to find on the Saxony label. There is another rare record on Saxony by the Victorials, Heartbreaking Moon, that I have featured here on the show. But we open up tonight from December 55 on Saxony. The Oriental Rock and Roll by Lewis Payne and his orchestra. Well, enough of my babbling here. Let's continue. We open up the vocal portion with a group from Youngstown, Ohio. It's on Tony March's Tammy label. Here are the Monterey's with their only release from February 1959. The Monterey's on Tammy with My Guardian Angel. My God, I'll be with you Come down, I'm up above To find someone Someone for me to love My God, an angel I'll be thankful to you So thankful Thankful to you My God, an angel I really need your hands If I am not true Then give me one more chance My God, an angel I'll be thankful to you Open up tonight's vocal portion there with the Monterey, no, Monterey's, Monterey's February 1959 release. It's on the Tammy record label. It's out of Youngstown, Ohio. My Guardian Angel record used to hear on oldies radio back in the early 1970s. For you collectors out there, the true first press should read Tammy Records. 
And if you just have the one that says Tammy across the top, that is the second press, not pressed about a month or, t- or so later than the original one, but it's the harder. The other the other copy, the first press is hard to find. Jai G here for a Saturday evening as we continue here. Got a bunch of flip sides from last week's show. And uh, here's our first on George Golner's end label. Last week I featured a request for George Tompkins by the Uniques out of Port Chester, New York, which is very close to where your host Johnny G is broadcasting, a song entitled Tell the Angels, which was the really the intended B-side of the 45 uh, and a nice ballad. But let's give a listen to the up-tempo flip side. It features Arthur Epps on lead. We go to February 1958. These are the Uniques on end. It's called Hey, Little Cupid. <laughs> Whoa, little Cupid, I need someone to love Hey, little girl, I like the one I'm thinking of Well, now, pretty little girl, so nice and sweet That's the kind I like to be Whoa, little Cupid, there's work to do Find me a little girl before you do Come on, little man, let's go Take that arrow in the bow February 58 release there for the Uniques. The Uniques on George Gullner's end record banner there. Hey, Little Cupid's the name of the tune. That is the intended A-side. Cool dancer there, Arthur Epps. He's the lead singer as we continue here. We count down the music chronologically here on Saturday evenings on the 50s and early 60s edition. And uh, next is another flip side from last week. Another request by George Tompkins. He wanted to hear the Heartbreakers on RCA. They're out of Washington, D.C. George requested their third of four song entitled Why Don't I? Let's give a spin to the flip side before this one goes back down in the no humidity basement this one from april of 1952 this one way back in the early 50s the heartbreakers the heartbreakers on rca and their tune called rockin daddy-o well listen all you girls right down the street there's a rockin jitterbug who's got everybody feed. Rockin' Daddy, rockin' Daddy. He rocks to the east, rock to the west. Rock you, baby, the way he knows it's best. He'll rock you fast, then he'll stop. And he'll rock oh so slow. Swing you up and down All over the floor Then you rock all you girls Like you've never been rocked before Rockin' Daddy Rockin' Daddy You rock, rock, rock Never, never stop Rock, rock, rock To the tick of the clock He rock, rock, rock you fast Then he rock, rock, rock you Oh, so slow Fast 
says rock you slow Rock you high and rock you low He rock you fast and he'll stop And he rock real slow Well it doesn't matter girls If it's day or night Any old time he's Rock at night, any old time he's gotta be right. He'll rock you fast and he'll stop, and he'll rock all so slow. Well, he's a rocking daddy, a rocking daddy, Those are the Heartbreakers. The Heartbreakers, April 1952 release. That is their third of four for the RCA record banner. Rockin' daddy is the name of that one. I should probably send that one out when I go to visit my brother down at LBI. There is a restaurant called... No, there is actually a... Um, uh, like a hotel and restaurant called Daddio's. That would be a good promo for that uh, for that hotel. Anyway, John G. babbling on as I lose my mind. I'm getting better. I have to go see a doctor, specialty doctor, this coming Thursday. Hopefully we'll get all the way back to where I was, but we'll see what happens. This nagging problem that I have, but let's continue here. It makes me feel better when I play these original vinyl 45s, and a few weeks ago I played a 45 by a group called the blenders was on the wonder record label from 1960 it was called craving for your love and i mentioned that it was the same song as done by the travelers on atlas their tune called love is all i crave well i was almost right as i gotta thank uh, george tompkins for reminding me that those songs by the blenders and the travelers really were were cover tunes uh, that were uh, that song originally recorded by a group from the Bronx, New York, on Joe Davis's JD label. It was their fifth of eight on JD Records, and it features Dean Barlow on Lee. Let's go to December of 1953. These are the Crickets on JD, and this is the original version of Love Is All I Crave and Craving for Your Love is just called Your Love. Your love is all I crave I would be your slave Just to have your love It's night when you're not near it seems like a year Cause I want your love Sweetheart, hear my prayer Never leave me It's your love I need All life through I swear by the Bible Believe me my love is only for you Well, your love is all I crave I would be your slave Just to have your love Sweetheart, hear my prayer Never leave me it's your love I need all life through I swear by the Bible, believe me My love is only for you Well, your love is all I pray I would be your slave just to have your love.
December 1953 release there for Dean Barlow. Dean Barlow and the Crickets. Joe Davis's JD record label out of New York City. That is the original version there. Your Love is the name of the tune and also covered by the Travelers on Atlas as Love is All I Crave. And the Blenders also do a version of that called Craving for Your Love, but I bet you they don't give credit to the Crickets. John G here for a Saturday evening as we continue. And you all know this next group out of Harlem, New York. They started in 1953, early 53, with releases on the Allen label, but it was in 1956 when uh, they signed with Melba Records. They had a big national hit with their tune, Church Bells May Ring. They achieve, achieved success as the Willows, but uh, prior to that, they were known as the Five Willows. Now, here's their fourth overall release by the Five Willows. It's on Peter Durain's PD record label. It's pretty rare, 45. It's with Leroy Kirkland and the orchestra. These are the Five Willows from late 1953 on PD with their tune, called Love Bell. Five Willows, Five Willows on PD Records. That's a great Harlem group, the Five Willows, 1953. Their tune called Love Bells. As we move on here on the Vinyl Treader Show for a Saturday evening, hope you're digging on the tunes. Let's move into 1955. Now, on last week's Vinyl Treader Show, I featured the third overall release by the Moon Glows on Leonard Chess's chess label. The song was called Foolish Me, featured uh, Bobby Lester on lead for that one. Now, let's flip the 45 over. It features Harvey Fuqua on lead. Lead. This one from April 55, Chess Records, The Great Moon Glows, with their tune called Slow Down. Well, baby, send me a telegram and say you're coming home. Well, baby, don't you know I'm all alone. Slow down, baby, slow down. Slow down, baby, slow down. My mind. I looked at the pocket for the quarter past three. I said, Please have 
Sound of the Moon Glows there, April 1955 release. Harvey Fuqua, he's on lead. Slow Down is the name of the tune. Leonard Chess's Chess Records for that one. One of the few uh, times that you don't see Alan Freed get writer credit on that. He was their manager. He wanted a piece of the pie, but uh, not on that release. And it's unfortunate we lost Harvey Fuqua July 6, 2010 at the age of 80. He died from a heart attack, but uh, left some great music behind. Yes, he did. John G here for a Saturday evening as we continue here. Now, here's another group from Harlem, New York that you all should know, and you know their biggest hit was a song in time titled Speedo, but they had a number of excellent sides on Jerry Blaine's Josie record label between 1954 and 1960, but did any of you ever flip over their big hit Speedo and give a listen to the cool ballad on the flip? Written by Chuck Willis, it's with Jesse Powell and the orchestra. This side features Earl Wade on lead. We go to October 1955 for the B-side to Speedo. These are the Cadillacs on Josie. Their tune's called Let Me Explain. You all pass. One side of the story, that's all you know. Let me explain, let me explain before you go. Yes, I will sing if somebody knew I was holding her hand. Yes, thinking of you Can I explain? Let me explain Before you go Heaven, I Been a good man Heaven, I Been true to you Don't look around I don't want you to see me cry 
time you heard that b-side but for the cadillacs there that's the flip side to speedo the cadillacs with their tune called let me explain earl wade's on lead their october 1955 release on jerry blaine's josie record label now uh, this song was also recorded believe it or not by wanda jackson she actually does a pretty cool rendition in 1957 on the Capitol record label a decent cover by hurry i checked that one out to john g here for our Saturday evening as we continue here. Got another flip side from last week as we go to Sid Nathan's Deluxe label. The group is out of Miami, Florida, and I featured their sixth and final release on the Deluxe label. They were called The Quails, although their five previous releases, they were known as Bill Robinson and The Quails, but I played the intended A-side uh, last week. It was called Pretty hugging baby let's give a listen to the b-side before it goes back down in the no humidity basement it's from april 55 the quails on deluxe it's called the things she used to do do you think that's right no no do you think that's right She used to do how oh, when I first met you, pretty baby. Yeah, you were so sweet, sweet and true. Yeah, but now you're getting a little old, a little girl. You don't love me like you used to do. Yeah, now do you think that's right? No. On my knees, I came to you, you with my plea. Yeah, love is not a play thing, love is not a toy. You the only one.
April 55 release there for the Quails, a.k.a. Bill Robinson and the Quails. Sid Nathan's Deluxe Records, they were out of Cincinnati, Ohio. The group, though, is out of Miami, Florida. The things she used to do as we move on here on Vinyl Treasures. We move into 1956 with a female singer backed up by an unknown vocal group. Her name is Lori Jai, J-A-I, and she recorded two on Bob McGee's Rim label out of New York City. It appears that this 45 may have kicked off the label as the 45 was reviewed in uh, on in the February 18th, 1956 edition of Cashbox magazine, and they mention another new firm makes its bow. And I like both sides of this 45. We go to February 1956 for Lori Jai. It's on Rim Records, and this is the A side. It's called Thrills and Heartaches. Thrills and Heartaches. Thrills and Heartaches. on the Rim record label. I gotta say, it's probably the first release on Rim. They started off with number 2016. I don't know what that Adelphi's on Rim starts off with. But anyway, it's February 1956. Her name is Lori Jai and a group Thrills and Heartaches, the name of the tune, that one there. Orchestra conducted by Tico Wilshire, big in the industry back then here in New York City in 1956. She just passed away actually last December, this gal, December 30th, 2017. But we continue here on the Vinyl Treasure Show. Have another flip side from last week. We go to Mercury Records. I featured the uh, du- duet of Sugar and Spice who are really Junior Ryder and Blondine Taylor. I played the B-side to their first of three on the Mercury label, song entitled Indeed I Love You, a song that uh, California listener Lino really enjoyed. He uh, posted that one up on my Facebook wall. So let's give a spin to the intended A-side, and it's a song that this duet, they wrote the tune. It's from February 56, Sugar and Spice on Mercury. It's called Hey Joe, let me know. Hey Joe, turn the lights down low. Hey, hey Joe, Joe, turn the lights down low. There are some things that I ought to know, Joe. Well, let me know how you love me, Joe. Let me know 
inside me, really. Well, let me know inside me, there are some things that I ought to know, Joe. Hey, Joe, well, let your lips meet mine. Hey, hey, Joe, Joe, oh, it feels so fine. It's good for me, the love is so divine. Joey. Well, let me know, come tell me, Joey. Well, let me know, excite me, really. Well, let me know, ignite me, dearly. There are some things that I ought to know, Joey. Duets here on the Vinyl Traders Show. That's Sugar and Spice, really, Junior Ryder and Blondine Taylor. That's the first of three on the Mercury Record Banner, February 58 release. Hey, Joe, let me know. Well, John G's letting you know I feature only original vinyl 45s. We do it every Saturday from 10 to midnight right here on Top Shelf Oldies. Let's continue here. A couple more, actually three more 45s out of 1956. Now, the last couple of uh, 50 shows, I featured this Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania group. They're known as the Four Dots. Uh, and uh, request uh, last week for George Tompkins, I featured their second release on Woody Hinderling's Bull's Eye label, a song called Peace of Mind. Actually, it was a couple weeks ago that I played that one, or even further, but I played the uh, flip side last week of that record. It was called Kiss Me Sugar Plum. Now, uh, George also requested their first release on the Bull's Eye label, and it features Fletcher Williams on lead. So, by request for George, we go to May. A March of 56. These are the four dots on the bullseye label, and their tunes called Rita. Did I? 
request for George Tompkins there, the Four Dots. That's their first release on the Bullseye label, March 56. Fletcher Williams, he's the lead singer. The name of the tune is called Reader. Now, Fletcher Williams would go on to have some uh, rare solo releases into the, I think, into the 1960s, some northern soul tunes also. Unfortunately, though, he passed away on September 24th, 2005, at the age of 70. He died from a heart attack. We remember him here on the Vinyl Treasure Show as we continue. Let's uh, stay in 56, and we go to a flip side from last week as I played the A-side by this great Harlem, New York group, their second single on the holiday label. The song was called When I Woke Up This this morning, but I just couldn't file this one back unless I gave a spin to the B side of the 45. Another song that my aunt liked quite a bit on her Rumble LP that came out on the Jubilee label. Remember, it was the last track on side two. It features Ernest Harrison on lead. We go to November of 1956. This is a B side for the Bop Chords on Holiday. Their tune's called I Really Love Her So. Oh, yes, I love her. I really love her so. Sound of New York City here on the Vinyl Treader Show. And it's a B-side by the Bop Chords. The flip side of When I Woke Up This Morning, November 1956. Release on the Holiday Record label, I Really Love Her So. Yes, I do. Johnny G here for a Saturday evening on this rainy evening. I think it's going to rain tomorrow, too, unfortunately. But let's continue here. Let's stay with the flip sides from last week. This time, Al Silver's Ember label and uh, featured this girl group. They're from Queens, New York. They were called the Miller Sisters, and I... Uh 
featured the intended A side of the 45, a song entitled Guess Who, another song that uh, California listener Lino really enjoyed. But Lino, tell me what you think of the B side of the 45. It was written by their father. Their father was William Henry Miller, involved with that Acme record label with all those uh, Long Island acts on the label. But he was the father of the Miller sisters. This one from May of 1956. We go to Ember Records. The tune is called How Am I to Know? Fifty-six release there for the Miller Sisters on the Ember label. They recorded on a lot of different labels during their career, many different labels. That's the B-side there, a song entitled How Am I to Know? And uh, that's a cool tune. I like that one there. John G. continuing here on the Vinyl Treader Show. Let's move into 1957 now with a group out of Beck was it Beckley, West Virginia, and the group uh, played their own instruments, and the lead singer also played the piano for the group. He is Reuben Siggers, S-I-G-G-E-R-S, along with his group. They're called the Fabulous Cool Cats, spelled with a K, Cool and Cats, and this one released on Garland Spinks' Spinks label. It's out of Ron... S- it's uh, North Dakota Bob. Am I saying this right? Ron Severte, West Virginia. I'm giving a spin to the intended B side of the 45. It's 1957. Sphinx Records, Ruben Siggers, and the Fabulous Cool Cats. It's called Please, Pretty Baby. <laughs>
That's out of 1957 there. Ruben Siggers and his fabulous Cool Cats on the Sphinx record label, Please Pretty Baby, is the name of the two. And, of course, the flip side has the vocal group that the co- uh, group collectors buy it for the flip side. But that's a cool rock and R&B side. Glad you like that one, Warren. Jai G here for a Saturday evening as we continue. And uh, we haven't been out to the West Coast yet, but uh, this group is from Bakersville, California. They started recording for the Vita label and they had uh, the West Coast cover version of the Drifters Adorable but later they signed with Buck Ram's Antler label and released uh, one single with two different B-sides. Now the common A-side was known as Sheik of Araby but uh, I'm going to play the uh, flip side that was associated with the uh, second release that came out on Antler 4007 and is is the better B-side, in my opinion. It features Eddie Williams on lead. This one from September 57, posted it up on my Facebook wall. They are the Colts, the Colts on Antler, a song entitled Guiding Angel. Sounds of California here on the Vinyl Treader Show for the Colts. Those are the Colts. The Colts on the uh, Antler record label. Their tune called Guiding Angel, September 57. And I guess I, I had the the versions mixed up. I thought that the I thought that the Colts did the cover. No, they did the original according to Rich Sabello. And uh, I guess I messed that one up as Johnny G does mess ups from time to time. It's very hard to know everything. I know everything about tax reform, but don't know everything about record collecting. As we continue here on the Vinyl Treader Show, let's make another visit to that Rumble LP on the Jubilee label, although I'm not playing it off of the LP, which I could though, but I won't. Featured the bop chords earlier. How about one from the Love Notes on Danny Robertson's Holiday Record label. This is their second and follow-up to their biggest hit, 
A song called United was the biggest hit for the label, I'd have to say. But I'm not playing it off the LP. I'm playing it off the original 45. It features Johnny Hicks on lead. This was another song that my aunt really liked on that her Rumble album. We go to August of 57, The Love Notes on Holiday, with their tune called If I Could Make You Mine. I could never build you a castle Honey, on dreams of you do I die I could be so happy If I could make you mine Love Notes, Johnny Hicks, he's the lead singer. The Love Notes, that's their second release on the holiday label, August 1957 release, If I Could Make You Mine. Now, previous to joining the Love Notes, Johnny Hicks was the lead singer of the Ivories on the Jaguar label. They do a great tune, a song called Alone from January 56. That's a great record, too. Johnny G here for a Saturday evening as we continue here. And uh, I rarely play mystery oldies, but I got a mystery oldie up next. And you got to guess it within, I'm going to say you got to guess it within the first 15 to 20 seconds of the record. I don't want you researching it. I want you to know it off the top of your head. So if you do know it, you can send me a private IM in the chat room or send me an email at vitaltreasures at AOL.com or IM me on Facebook if you know who's doing this song. Well, oh, well, oh, up, whip, whip, whip. 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 Once there was a girl, oh, oh, what a girl. 
she love to me Where can it be? Where's your Cadillac car? A Cadillac car Cadillac car Where can I get me a Cadillac car? I don't have it now but I can get it Get it I don't have it now but I can get it Get it I don't have it now but I can get it Get it I'll do the best I can Get it 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 Where's your diamond ring? A diamond ring. Diamond ring. Where can I give me a diamond ring? I don't have it now, but I can get it. Get it. I don't have it now, but I can get it. Get it. I don't have it now, but I can get it. Get it. I'll do the best I can with it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. That was a mystery only. Now, you see, if I was Dave the Rave, I'd be having a hissy fit right now because he gets so upset when people type in the main chat room. He's supposed to type a private message because uh, somebody might get it right and everybody may guess it. But uh, anyway, it was uh, Hi-Fi Tim who did guess it correctly for that song with a group behind it, no less. But... Um, that singer right there was uh, real name was Vincent Eugene Craddock from Norfolk, Virginia, aka Mr. Gene Vincent. Had 21 releases on the Capitol label. Now his debut single from '56 was his biggest hit. You know what that is? It was called Bebop Alula. But we just heard his 12th release on Capitol with a vocal group backing him up from September 1958. Gene Vincent and his Blue Caps with Get It. G I T I get G I T space I T and hi fi Tim. Well, he guessed it. That's because Tim probably had the uh, 45 and he had 20 seconds. Was that 20 seconds? I got to see, got to check out the time there, folks. Anyway, Jai G babbling on here for a Saturday evening. Let's continue. We are in 1958. Got another flip side from last week. This girl group from Passaic, New Jersey. You know who they are. They uh, fe featured their follow-up to I Met Him on a Sunday, a song entitled Slop Time, but the flip is an excellent ballad. It features Shirley Owens Alston on lead. We go to June of 58 for the Shirelles on Decca with uh, their tune. It's called My Love is a Charm. My love is a charm It will keep you from harm It will guide and protect you Let's go. 
B-Sides here on the Vinyl Treasure Show. Those are the Shirelles' June 58 release, My Love is a Charm, is the name of the tune. That's their second release on the DECA record label. After one more release on DECA, they would sign with Florence Greenberg's Scepter label. The rest is history for the Shirelles, but a great girl group from Passaic, New Jersey. Hope you're digging on the cool tunes here for a Saturday evening as we continue here. This next group, they are originally out of Chicago, Illinois, first for recording for Connie Tools Theron label a great two-sided 45 uh, in December of 55 called You're the Dream backed with Calypso Mama but I'm featuring their next release which came out on Norman Forg's Stephanie label which is out of Evanston, Illinois let's give a listen to the B side of the 45, it's from January 58, they're called the Mar Velos. Mar Velos on Stephanie, it's called Come Back My Love Thank mm-hmm. you. release there for the M-A-R dash V-E-L-L-O-S Marvellos is on the Stephanie label their tune called Come Back My Love this is the same group that would record on the Marvello label out of Chicago but that's a uh, 1958 release as we continue here here's another flip side from last week's Vinyl Treasure Show I featured the B-side last week this group out of Philadelphia PA posted this one up on my Facebook wall you can check it out Uh, the side I played last week was called Don't Say Goodbye that was the B-side the A-side is an excellent tune tune also now for you collectors out there the first presses of this are on the atco label they were released in december of 1957 but uh, they were pressed locally in philadelphia on jocko henderson and barry golder's mainline label let's give a listen to the mainline press it features eddie custis on lead this one came out in february 58 in the philly area mainline records they are the superiors with their tune called Called Lost Love. The sun won't shine like it used to be until you say, darling, that your mind wants more. All of my memories, darling, all of my cares, they are too. Hard for me to bear the moon Won't glow like it glowed that night 
February 1958 release on the mainline label. A lot of collectors thought that the mainline release was the first press. It's not. It was really the Atco release that's the first press. The Superiors there with uh, their tune, a uh, song entitled Lost Love. Eddie Custis, he is on lead. Remember hearing that one on the Gus Gossard Show and all the oldie stations on WHBI and WFUV. They would play that record quite often. John G's here for a Saturday evening. Let's continue here. And here's an ultra-rare 45. It's on Alfred Gatewood's Gatewood label. Now, Alfred Gatewood, he was a member of the Cufflinks that recorded on the Dutone label. He also actually wrote the song they do called Guided Missiles and in 1958 he owned the Gatewood label and he wrote this song for this group called The Clicks now Marv Goldberg thinks that this is a white group I disagree I think this and I think this lead singer of this group is really Sylvester Jackson he was the lead of the sentimentals on the minute label but you could be the judge let's go to 1958 these are the clicks on Gatewood and their tunes called Only One Love. How many loves? How many loves? I only want one, one love. I don't want a blue love Some fellows have to love But I only want you My friend Say I'm crazy to all my faith in you, but crazy as it may seem, I'm betting you will come through. I only want. Rare 45s here on the Vinyl Treader Show. That group, they're known as the Clicks. It's 1958 release. It's on the Gatewood label. 
Out of New York City, Only One Love is the name of the two. Now, uh, some of you may have recognized that song because that song was also covered by a group called The Logics on the Everlast label in 1962. It was called One Love. And then in 1965, Alfred Gatewood would re-release it on his Gate label as done by the Cufflinks. Now, Warren, you requested that Cufflinks 45 on the Gate label. It would be that song because I do have it on the Gate label also as Johnny G loses his mind here for a Saturday evening as we continue here on the Vinyl Treasure Show. And I have a a Dell Vikings 45 up next. Now, they were out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and in April 57, the group changed managers. Uh, Their previous manager, his name was Barry Kay, then someone by the name of Alan Strauss, he became their manager, and he negotiated a deal with Mercury Records. And since most, almost all the members except one were... uh, were minors they were allowed to get out of their contract and go to mercury records the only one that could not was crip johnson he had to stay with phoebe records so that's why you say you see on phoebe crip johnson the dell viking that's because all the other members they just jumped ship and went over to mercury records but uh when uh but uh Eventually, that's what happened, and then uh, I have a Mercury 45 to play. I featured the B-side of this record a while back, a nice ballad. It was called How Could You? But let's give a listen to the A-side. It features Norman Wright on lead. This one from October 58, the Dell Vikings on Mercury with something I dread to get. As I drive into Newark every morning and drive home every night, I dread to get this on the road. The name of the tune is called Flat Tire. Fun! 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 Down the road and over the hill Uh I took my baby riding in my automobile Riding along me and my heart's desire a flat tire. I'm grabbing my jet, I'm reaching for my spare. Yeah. I'm waiting for the mover, it was flat as a chair. Uh-huh. I took out my pump and started pumping it back. Another flat. Well, I was standing there looking, thinking about my own baby. When along came a Charlie in his 88. My baby jumped down and flagged a Charlie down. He said, I'll hop in, babe, I'll drive you back to town.
I'm telling you, that's the worst thing to get on the road, a flat tire. But uh, with the Cadillac, I guess I, I call a Cadillac service. They will come and they will change my flat tire. Yes, they will. October 58 release. Those are the Dell Vikings. That's the intended A side of the 45. Flat tire is the name of that one. Came out on the Mercury record label. As we continue here on the Vinyl Treasure Show, on, on, on last week's Vinyl Treasure Show, I played the intended A side of this 45 out of Tampa, Florida. Florida came out on the Nugget label as done by Bobby Sands and the Royal Teen Tones. It was called Teenage Joy, but I really prefer the B side of the 45 uh, as uh, it's a pretty rare record, of course. Uh, how do, was it put that uh, Jerry Diaz sold me this 45? Of course, when you deal with him, I don't know, think he's dealing anymore, but when you dealt with Jerry, a lot of the records were very expensive. But um, this was requested a while back by Facebook listener Stephen Kahn. A while back, maybe a few years back, but it's nice to give it a spin again. This one from July 59, Bobby Sands and the Royal Teen Tones. It's on Nugget Records out of Tampa, Florida. It's called Secret Lover. <laughs> July 59 release there for Bobby Sands and the Royal Teen Tones. That is definitely the better side for sure. Secret Lover is the name of that one. Came out on the Nugget record label. We continue here. Let's move into 1960. I'm sure many of you are familiar with Jimmy Gallagher and the passion song Made for Lovers. Came out on the Oticon label in 1961, but that's not the original version. The song was written by Hiram Johnson, and he was the owner of Johnson Records, and Leroy Jones who was really Roy Jones on this 45. He's the lead singer of this tune, along with the Shells, the same Shells that recorded on the Johnson label, and they do the original version of the song. We go to September 1960, Roy Jones and the Shells on the Swirl label, and the original version of Made for Lovers.
the original version of the song that you may know by the passions on the Oticon label that's September 1960 Roy Jones and the Shells the Shells that recorded for the Johnson label but that's on the Swirl label Made for Lovers is the name of the tune as we continue here on the Vinyl Trader Show we are in 1960 and I have to apologize in advance for the sound quality on this next 45 as the vinyl is poor on this one and some of those presses from the Oakland area play pretty bad and I won this 45 a number of years ago uh, from Jeff Beckman he was auctioning either in Discoveries or Goldmine I forget which one the older magazine and uh, he was selling out his collection and uh, I ended up winning this copy from him but there are two different versions of this song there's a bluesy version and a group version but I think this is the best version by a group uh, called Maury Williams and the Kids they had a prior release to this in 58 on the TV label and it came out on Carlton Records a song called Are You My Girlfriend but this 45 is much rare and it's on the Luck label out of Oakland, California I'm featuring it on the Yellow label there's also another release on the Maroon label but again I'm telling you in advance it has surface noise which is why sometimes I hate playing this record but it's such a great record from October 60 Rock 1960, Maury Williams and the Kids. It's on Luck Records. It's called Time Runs Out. Yeah! 
Warren, thank you for complimenting me on that because I think that one plays pretty awful, but it's unfortunately they all play that way. I don't know if this there was a pressing plan out there in Oakland that they just about pressed the records like by hand on some ridiculous pressing machine. They really did. And uh, I don't know what it is with these that those Oakland record companies, but anyway, that's a cool record, I'd say. Maury Williams and the Kids, October 1960 release. Time Runs Out, a great name for a movie, by the way, came out on the Luck Record label. As we continue here on the Vinyl Treaders show, now this next 45 really has me confused a little bit because I'm guessing, uh, first of all, that it's out of 1960, although uh, it's, it, it was available, for those of you that like it on CD, you can get this song on a CD called West Coast Vocal Group Treasures. But uh, So I'm uh, guessing that this record is out of California, although I don't have the Delta in the Dead Wax here, but it does look like a California label. It's called Drum. Drum Records. Now, I always thought Drum Records was out of the state of Connecticut, but of course, it's a common name. It could be from Los Angeles, too. But uh, the press looks like it could be the drum label from Connecticut because it was blue, and this one is blue with silver print. But uh, I really don't know. But the singer is known as Jimmy Holiday with an I-E, Jimmy Holiday with two L's. And it says on the label, the George Redman Group. So I don't know. Let's give it a spin. It's from 1960, I'm guessing. It's Jimmy Holiday on drum records. It's called Fill My Cup. Fill my cup. Fill my cup. Fill it up with your love. 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 Just love. Can you see you belong to me? This is the way that is got to be. I love you and you love me. Your love, 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 love, your 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 love,
His name is Jimmy Holiday with two L's, 1960. Johnny G is guessing on the drum label, song entitled Fill My Cup. Well, fill your cup with another glass of wine or put more wine in your cup or soda or coffee or whatever as we continue here on the Vinyl Treasure Show. Now, uh, we were all saddened to hear of the passing of the Queen of Soul, Miss Aretha Franklin, and uh, she was truly a music icon for decades. And uh, going way back to her gospel roots with releases on the JVB label, believe it or not, in 1957, I have her Checker 45s. She has two, but I pulled out two for tonight's show, and uh, it's when she started recording for Atlantic Records that uh, she became a national star. But uh, she signed with Columbia Records back in 1960, and even though she sang great on all those records, they were never really big hits for her uh, they were more a uh, pop sounding but i think this one that i'm featuring is probably one of her best songs on the columbia label and it's a b-side to her biggest hit national hit on columbia records a uh, song she did in 1961 rockabye your baby with a dixie melody was number 37 on billboard 24 on cash box but uh, I'm going to flip that 45 over as we pay tribute uh, to the late Aretha Franklin. We go back to September 1961, Columbia Records, Aretha Franklin, and her tune called Operation Heartbreak. Operation Aretha Franklin there. Great record there. Operation Heartbreak came out on the Columbia record label September 61. And Rich says it was a big number six 
on the R&B charts as it's so much deserved. But uh, I also will feature her in my closer tonight as we close the uh, Vinyl Treasure Show. Let's continue here. Now, last week on the Vinyl Treasure Show, I featured a group called the Upfronts on Lummy Fowler's Lum Tone label out of Los Angeles, California. And the side I played was called Baby for Your Love, which was issued twice on Lum Tone number 107, initially in November of 61, then again in March of 62. Now, the flips of, the, of that, of those uh, different release dates and the same number uh, had different flip sides, but I guess they were really the A side. That side I played last week was really the B side. But um, on one of the flip sides, the record had to be pulled, the one on the March 62 release, because Lummy Fowler was sued by the monotones because they said that you're stealing a part of our record and therefore you have to pull that one off and they did they had a cease and desist letter and they he had to pull the record which is why it's so rare to find and believe me it's not a great record by any means the side i played last week is the better sounding side but i felt that we should let the listeners give give a listen to the side that was causing all the problems because this record supposedly sounds like the 1958 hit by the monotones called book of love at least pieces of it do and uh, the monotones felt that uh, that was an infringement of their tune and therefore they uh, lummy fowler did pull it but it was written by the label owner lummy fowler we go to march of 61 these are the upfronts on lum tone and the name of the tune is called i stopped the duke of earl well, I wonder, wonder who it is. Who? Who shot the new cover? to be pulled lummy fowler pulled that one off the press which is a pretty rare 45 to find if you can if you have that record by the upfronts march 1961 i stopped the duke of earl is the name of that one that was on the lum tone record label lummy lummy fowler's lum tone record label john g's here for a saturday evening we are in the early 60s and uh 
uh, listener Stephen Kahn did a nice write-up about this group on one of uh, the trade publications. I forget which one it is. The one that's um, currently out of, I think it's Massachusetts or Maine, I forget. Uh, Echoes of the Past, I think that's where it showed up. But uh, he researched this group from Denver, Colorado. Their manager was Eileen McShane. She was also the owner of the label DMG Records. And uh, the group is doing a cover of a Moonglow song. This charted uh, regionally. This was number 20 on KIMN out of Denver, Colorado, along with the band The San. Sam Severin and his satellites. It features Chuck Price on lead. This group is called the High Seas. The High Seas on from June of 60 on DMG. Their rendition of the Moonglows tune, We Go Together. <laughs> Denver, Colorado. They're called the High Seas, spelled S-E-A-S, on the DMG label, June 1960, their rendition of We Go Together. Johnny G and you go together on Saturday evenings from 10 to midnight right here on Top Shelf Oldies. We move into 1961. Many of you know this next group. They're out of Odessa, Texas. Their lead singer was a teacher at Blackshear High School in a junior high school in Odessa, Texas. He recruited four of his students who loved to sing, and Roy Orbison heard them and brought them to his label, Monument Records. Now, uh, the group uh, recorded this uh, Orbison Joe Melson pen tune, features Virgil Johnson on lead from August 1961. Give a listen to the Velvets on Monument and uh, their rendition of the tune, Lana. Lana. Sweet, 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 
A group called the Velvets there. The Velvets is the name of the tune. It's on the Monument record label. Virgil jo Ver Johnson, he's the lead singer. Now, this was their follow-up to the group's biggest hit. I'm sure you know their big hit. It was called Tonight Could Be the Night. I'm fortunate that we lost Virgil Johnson February 24th, 2013 at the age of 77, but left us with some cool sounds uh, that uh, he did on the Monument record label. John G's here in Vinyl Trip are overtime going to cut out a little early tonight we're going to play a couple more 45s before we sign off here now last week a bopper boy warren requested a girl group known as the true leers they're probably out of the baltimore maryland area warren requested the a side of the 45 which was called forget about me but let's give a listen to the intent to the b side of the 45 which i do like better and this was a real cheapo purchase for me although the record's pretty rare to find cost me 10 cents for this got a couple pops in it but i don't care this one from october 62 they are the true leers the true leers on checker a song entitled waiting for you <laughs> October 62, they're called the True Leers. That's the intended B-side, uh, Leonard Chess's Checker label. Waiting for You is the name of that one. Two more 45s to go before we sign off here on the Vinyl Treader Show. Can't find any info on this next 45, but I do have the... <laughs> The previous number prior to this release on the Tribune label uh, by Shelley DuPont and the Calendars. That's the one I have uh, prior to this release. But let's give a listen to the intended A side of this 45 on Tribune, written by Terry Phillips and Jerry Vance. The group is called Monarchs of Winston Salem. It's from the fall of 62. It's on Tribune Records. It's called Army of Love.
called The Monarchs of Winston-Salem. That one there on the Tribune record label, a Fall of 62 release, a song entitled Army of Love. Well, that's going to do it for Johnny G and the Vinyl Treaders Show. I want to thank you for joining Johnny G, listening to cool original Vinyl 45s out of my collection. You want to get in touch with Johnny G, send me an email at vinyltreasures at AOL.com. Been recording this one on the Ustream broadcaster. It's going to be up until September 17th, I think that's what they said or that's in the email that they sent me so we'll continue to record before i have been forced to look for another video somewhere else so i'll post this one up on my youtube account you can check out the video also you can go to vinyltreasures.net you can stream or download the shows there any time of the week and I'm contemplating next week if I should do my All 60s show um, because I won't be here on September 1st. So either Ramtown Mike will be filling in or someone else will be filling in if they like. So if anyone does want to fill in on, uh, on the September 1st Saturday, send Johnny G an email at vinyltreasures at AOL.com or my Gmail account. If you have it, you fellow DJs there. So you can let me know. If not, Ramtown Mike will be on that day. But next week week i'm deciding so if anybody wants to send me an email if you think i should do a 60 show it is the last saturday of the month but i figured i wasn't here on the fourth so i was going to do another 50s but i don't know maybe i'll talk to my administrative assistant charlene you will have to convince me but i know charlene likes my 50 show better but anyway that's going to do it folks our closer tonight though uh, our closer tonight is uh, by the uh, uh, the Queen of Soul, who we just lost this Thursday, August uh, 16th, at the age of 76, passed away uh, from pancreatic cancer. And the closer is really a cut from her Columbia LP called Unforgettable, which they put out as a single, and it's a cover uh, uh, first recorded uh, by Dinah Washington in 1963 uh, on the Roulette label, but this song bubbled under at number 121 on the Billboard charts, and uh, regionally it was number 21 on WHK out of Cleveland, Ohio. It's the late, great Aretha Franklin as we play tribute to her and all the great music that she left us. The closers from March 64, Aretha Franklin on Columbia song entitled Soulville. That is our closer. That's going to do it, folks. Uh, please tune in tomorrow evening starting at 9 p.m., 9 to midnight for Dave the Rave and his Relics and Rarities show and all the Top Shelf Oldies shows during the week here. Listen to all the DJs, all the cool shows. You get a flavor of different... Um, different DJs and their taste in music, but uh, it's really a fun station to be at. So check it out every day of the week. Thank you, Charlene, for all your help. I'll see everyone next Saturday. I'll decide. I'll post it up on Facebook uh, if I'm going to do a 50s or 60s show. Maybe if, I don't know, I'm on the fence. But anyway, that's going to do it. Everybody have a safe and happy week and hope you tune in next Saturday starting at 10 p.m. for more cool original vinyl 45s out of my collection. Just want to say, everybody, so long.